Hello everyone, this is take two. My open broadcaster software crashed the first time. Uh, this is Private Griff of StarCraft II, Cobalt Tribes arcade game. And you may know me from the Cobalt Tribe forums, or you may never have heard of Cobalt Tribes or anything having to do with Cobalt Tribes, First including time. me. But uh, this is Private Griff. Of you are Starcraft about to hear a stream two. echo, and I apologize. I just wanted to make sure things are going properly. Um, in any case, I'm about to unmute the people on TeamSpeak. Hopefully, we are going to get some good uh, commentary, build some hype for Cobalt Tribes, start to get some notoriety. This isn't the first time I stream, but this is the first time that I'm just going to start to... Uh, put stuff out there and just get the content out there and forget about the perfectionism I usually try for. Um, eventually I do hope to get some tutorials and stuff out there and improve the stream quality, YouTube quality, everything right now is under construction. So hopefully soon we will get some good stuff going on out there build the hype for um, this game and uh, really just start to build in-house all over again um, and maybe start to really get some tournaments and stuff going on um, I do have plans to um, go back and review the old tourney uh, from last year um, and stream that and commentate it but uh, right now we are just kind of limping along and trying to build the community again in-house kind of died for a while a lot of people went over to League of Legends and uh, let's get some people back so I'm about to unmute myself on TeamSpeak and really get stuff going on. So there's the intro and uh, hope the stream doesn't die this time. Here we go. So oh, you're having a microphone open activated. Box. All right, guys. Sorry. I was just kind of uh, doing an intro. Um, pretty, rough, pretty rough, but, you know, first time besides the 20 uh, last year. So I'm very practiced at this. Um, everything is being streamed right now, so if you want to go to twitch.tv slash stacked gaming, stacked underbar gaming, um, just don't try not to stream cheat because I'm not buffering anything at all. Um, there's a game called Screen Sheet. Trying to invite everyone in here. First game. Let's go. Do is decline. People are declining. Come on, guys. Man, we've got a lot of people here. This is some good guys. Bubbles is on the way. It looks like Frank the Tank. Whoa. Well, are you gonna in? Are you gonna arrange the teams, or is this a free for all? No, I'm gonna arrange the teams. I'm just messing with stuff here. Oh, yes, arrange teams. Uh, if you have Batman, you're automatically going to win. It's Batman. Obviously, Batman. Yeah, Batman actually took out Hotch in the game the other day. Batman actually died in the game. I was just played with him. He got shot to death while standing there. While Hotch ran in circles. <laughs> she ran in circles because I don't know if it was her fault or if her kobold got stuck on the campfire nearby but she was running in circles with her javelin and her stick why do you have a javelin stick <laughs> and Batman got shot in the face by by uh burn 
I did invite I did Dwiz, invite he uh, declined. I'll invite him again. There we go. Why would you decline a tournament, man? Who is not in the party? There we go. Uh, Fail Lord, if you go to, if you like join the Cobalt Tribes in-house V2 group and or Cobalt Tribes tournaments group, that'll make it easier to find you. Can you join groups? Are you are you on a, a purchased version or are you on uh, the free uh, version? Purchased. Okay, so you can, you can go and join them, the groups. I went out and I spent 40 bucks and bought the whole game. Nice. I'm so cool, I know. You're in V2 right now? Let me see if I can see you. Uh, Most definitely in my party. I do, I, I do not know if I am not in any group though, so I don't know what's happening over here. Alright, go, go to your groups button and do find and look up Cobalt Tribes in-house V2. Or Cobalt Tribes tournaments. And you can just join those. Those are public groups. All right. Adopt a noob. There you go. Whoops. All right. So we have forty-four. Pro. I'm in it. There we go. All right. Now I can be a, a ref. Sweet. I can observe the whole thing. Why do we have a cl why do we have a clown? Well, I guess if he can kill stuff, that's okay. Oh, kill a clown? Is he is he playing? I don't know. He's in our group. Invite bubbles, so he's on tonight. Yep, he's playing. Yeah. He said, Is he start. on? I don't see him. I don't see him. He's on my friends list. Where is he? No, he's not uh, online. Do you see him somewhere in TeamSpeak? Yeah, I'm looking for him. Who else are we going to have in our uh, group? Our tournament team. This is going to end up as a team versus team thing to be like a two out of three team versus team thing. You just don't have enough people to do a full tournament. Yeah, that's all right. Totally fine with that. That's more perks because I still do not have all my perks. Which actually yep. sucks because I get free iron and wool and everything. I have been farming all day and I only got the eight perks. It's really hard to get perks now. What did Cancakes do? Uh, I don't, hand, know. I don't know. On the other hand, the hotkeys are now in a single part of the keyboard, which just happens to be next to tab. Yep. Yep. All the hotkeys are on one side of the keyboard, which I'm completely fine with instead of them oh, being no, stuck it's really annoying in those custom games where they, you have abilities that you have to spam and stuff, and they put the hotkeys all over the place, so you have to break your hand in a bunch of pieces. Wait a second, Wait a that's second. not bubbles, that's chubbies. I've got everyone on my, almost everyone on my friends list has a, a, a note set, and so I know who the original names of these people are. Like, right now there's one gun reborn that's not reborn that's uh swift troll aka hound aka i don't know how many names that guy has had so far oh my god it's roful i know that one yeah what i want to know where logic is i wanted to fight him all the time and then they removed it from the trials list Where's in my life uh-oh Burn dropped. 
Maybe timed out. That will not help us. Get Killer Clown to join the lobby. Yeah, I asked him if he was coming. He hasn't responded. He's burning his offline. Oh. Well, no, we need one more again. Or I gotta play. Griff, am I playing with you, or are you on the other team? Uh, usually we have some sort of captain's pick teams. Um, especially, alright. War Rabbit and Poor is the captain? <laughs> That's almost true. If you have to play, you will. What's that supposed to mean? Microphone muted. Like you're expecting to just sit in a corner and Rofe will stomp everyone as spells? Well, I can get spells too, man. I'm gonna get some coffee, actually. Because I'm gonna... Well, it's... Kind of really late where I am. Damn, I just left the party. Yo guys.
No, oh, I'm muted. Holy crap. Microphone activated. Whoops, I was muted. So, uh, let's get some teams going here. Are you streaming? Alright, uh, let's get on since I was gone. Yeah, I'm streaming. But I, I, have my, I have my stream muted so I don't echo myself. Hutch <laughs> versus Batman. Can't. Oh, that's free v free. What the heck? What? Observers? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna observe and try to cast this. Poor said he had to go for now. So. You should play in the. Uh, is this gonna be like a two versus? No, two out of three. For both yeah, teams. Yeah, sure. We'll do. Yeah, final uh, round. You should play with your team. Just saying. Like the um, third match, if there is one, should be that should be a thing. You and your Wolf Spain rush. That was annoying when I played with you that time, and you Wolf Spain rushed me, and I had a stick, and you somehow had Wolf Spain on day one. H strength. That pretty darn killed me. All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right, Whoa. I'm gonna move Whoa. the people in the lobbies in uh, TeamSpeak. Um, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move you guys. My coffee. User yeah. was moved out of your channel. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved out of channel your channel. Switched. This is your team, right? You had Black Baron yeah, and yep. Fail Lord. Teammates. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna, so I'm, gonna I'm gonna pause real quick. Which one of you wants to turtle and build up spells? Which one of you wants to turtle and build spells? I s I want to gun rush, really, because that's what I'm good at. I'm going to cast from a different lobby, so good luck, have fun, guys. Channel switched. Here we go. We are in our first game. We've got Dwiz, Hotch, and War Rabbit against Epic Fail Lord, Black Baron, and Batman, also known in the past as Zorix, with an X. Um, that might sound funny, but th that means the X was at the beginning. Um, so we are going to find out when they are all ready and start to commentate. Hopefully, I can get all my hotkeys in order, get my follow going on. There we go. User joined your channel. Pox, what's up, man? How much, Griff? What are you up to, bro? I am streaming some Cobalt Tribes and starting to try and get oh, yeah? uh, in-house kind of things going on again. I was hoping to do like kind of uh, the fighting game community has like their fight nights and stuff like that, and try and do that like every Saturday night. So and uh, kind of like how. Um, you know, Cavill is trying to do things, but, you know, maybe a little bit more loosey-goosey, maybe a little more, you know, pick up basketball-ish, but hopefully we'll get it to be like, you know, we'll put like $20 on the line, just small stuff and, you know, stuff for pride and try to build up the in-house stuff again. We'll see how it yeah, goes. Yeah, man, that'd be good. I will definitely play if you guys get in-house back up again. Yeah, I just don't like pubs. Yeah, we've got a 3v3 right now, but, you know, uh, I'll 
you know, if you want to stick around or be be available, I'll pull you into the next one if we get another one. I think poor Promic was going to play, and then he had to go. He said he'd be back in a bit, so we can get a 4v4 or something. Yeah, I might do that. Game resumed. How much longer on the 3v3? We literally just started. Like, it was, they had a huddle, and they're just starting. So I'm going to start trying to commentate this a little bit. If you were if you were a little sooner you could have been my co-caster or something. <laughs> so right now we have Epic Fail Lord who used to be on the forums as BSB. Um, yeah, no idea who that is. He was uh, a bit of um, it seemed like he was going to turn out to be a troll for a little while, but um, it turns out he's just kind of a, a young kid and didn't really know what was appropriate on forums and stuff like that and was just kind of doing everything that he thought was the cool thing. But uh, after people kind of talked him off of his, uh, his kind of newbie ledge, um, it's turned out to be all right and he's tried to get active in uh, he was doing some of the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, for a while there were like those, uh, you know, accomplish this and get the title for that. I don't know if you remember some of those, like, you know, uh, survive, you know, it's, it's kind of like, kind of like the in-game perks or rewards, but, um, they were just for like, you know, doing things extra hard just for the heck of it. Um... So he, he was trying to be in charge of that for a little while, and then I think he went off to another game and has come back recently. So we'll see in this game how, uh, how quick he is to um, pick up on in-house kind of stuff. Um, right now we've got Hotch mining some gold, War Rabbit on and infused... Uh, Dwiz is in a slightly separate base here. Epic Failor, Black Baron, and Batman are all camping together. Um, it looks like there might be a little bit of a gun rush going on in the Southern Tribe, which is uh, Batman, Epic Failor, and Black Baron. Um, Dwiz, I'm not sure what he's making. I didn't see what was in his pack right before he started crafting. Um, Hotch has got two Shadow Stones and an Iron. Uh, War Rabbit just finished getting the infused down. Um, let's see what he's got. He's got a Huntsman. He's got a Berry Pheasant already. Uh, I think he's just making a stick there. Epic Failer, I believe, is trying to make a gun here, but if he's not careful, this wolf is going to kill him. Batman just stepped in. Oh, he just made it, finished his gun. He is about to die from warmth. That was not good. I remember most of those players being scrubs, but I haven't played for so long. Probably beat me. So, Black Baron now is Siphon Life. We have uh, Zorex with Shadow Cloak. War Rabbit has Siphon. Dwiz has. Uh, Hodge just got cloak. So basically it's even. Dwiz only has nature's grace. He doesn't... He has... Dwiz has... What does he have? Dwiz has got a stick and huntsman and some berry pheasant. Looks like he's cooking some more. Um, looks like they're tr maybe trying to get a res going for Fail Lord. Um, Black Baron looks like he maybe wants to go for Bane. He doesn't have the Bane title, uh, but he has a lot of the Bane materials. I don't know if he was just killing a lot of wolves or what. <laughs> Hotch has Bane title right now, but he doesn't have the materials for it. He's basically got nothing right now except for Shadow Cloak. Um, Looks like he possibly wants to go for a budget mage build. He's got two uh, 
two spice in this pack. Um, despite being down and a, a, a uh, player here, Batman and Black Baron look like they're slightly better geared out right now. Um, although War Rabbit is just about to finish something here. He's got a spear now and a huntsman. Um, Hotch is still mining stone. Well, now Dwiz has got uh, two gems. We'll see what they do with that. Um, Black Baron made a Huntsman for Zorex. And it looks like he's now making a Lantern. They might be trying to push out tonight. We'll see if uh, they try and make, it, make any attempt at res or if they're just going to try and rush. Um, see what kind of vision they have. Northern Tribe has no idea that the Southern Tribe is basically just in that spot south east of mid but uh, well Batman and them don't really know where the northern tribe is either their bird went right in between the two bases um, straight up toward the northern spawn so no one knows where each other is right now but uh, we'll see what happens here got night two and no new spells have been made yet oh, looks like they're gonna go for the res now um, Zorix has two of the res mats he needs a flower um, he now is nature's grace and clairvoyance the quest, the gladiator quest just spawned. And yeah, it looks like he's searching for a bush now to go res. The Dwiz has some good food. He's got a berry pheasant, two beer pheasants, and a spice lamb. Hotch is, I mean, he's still on just a leather coat and a dull pickaxe. He does have affliction and shadow cloak, though. He started to build something. I'm not sure if that was a lantern. Oh no, he's going to be making a lantern next. He might be making an orb right now. Um, let's see, War Rabbit's got, he's looking for a pet. He's got a spear and a lantern going on. And siphon. Here comes the res from Batman up at North Shrine. And no one stepped into the arena, which... I guess is a decent call since almost no one is ready. The only one that's kind of ready is Batman. Although well, Black Baron seems to be okay right now too. You could probably put on some pressure because they have two guns. Um, and there is no range. Oh, Hodge does have an orb. He's got orb, leather, armor, and a lantern right now. So... So this is an interesting build from the north. They've got two spears and an orb. And north has two guns and a res. So we'll see how quickly they can get uh, Fail Lord geared up. Um, they probably feel behind, and maybe they are to some degree. But um, I think now is there are... Um, more people in a readier state on the north side that uh, the gap is going to start to grow. War Rabbit is now starting to concentrate on pet upgrades. Hotch looks like he's trying to get some food going or at least some sage berries. Um, what is Dewey's getting here? He just put down a huntsman's jacket. 
Maybe he's making better armor now. Maybe, yeah, just made a halberd. Um. So let me see. Let me take a quick look at all the skills here. We got War Rabbit with War Rabbit's got 20 art as well, 10 cooking, 5 mining. Hotch. Oh no, sorry, that's Doiz who has the 20 art. Um, Hotch has 5 art, Doiz is 20. Uh, More of it is 5 art, 15 mining, 10 cooking. Hotch has 20 forestry. Uh, on the southern side, we have. Fail Lord with 22 mining, 10 art. Um, Batman has no art, 20 mining, 10 cooking, and 7 foraging. Um, and Black Baron has 10 art and 22 mining, so. Northern Tribe looks... Oh, sorry. I must have been uh, on Black Baron before. Fail Lord actually has 15 art and 2 cooking. He is living very dangerously in this game. This is twice now that he is in very red health. Now he's gone up to 20 art, so we'll see how he goes with that. He could easily get a halberd here with some luck from these gems. Just chose to make a huntsman's jacket. He might make a uh, lantern next. Sell that wood and get a gem. Looking back at everyone. We've got uh, Hotch, who is there. Almost completely dedicated mage. He's got Guardian Spirit, Affliction, Clairvoyance, and Shadow Cloak. Um, he has no pet upgrades. War Rabbit's got Siphon and some pet upgrades. Duiz just has Shadow Cloak right now. Failord has no spells. Black Baron, Siphon. Uh, and Zorix has Clairvoyance, Shadow Cloak, and Siphon. War Rabbit now has two pets. He's got a wolf for the, the pet quest and a frost bear since it's now the winter quest. Fail Lord is starting to get his gold up. Um, Dwiz looks like he's heading for North Shrine right now. I'm not sure why exactly. Um, he's got a wisp for a pet this is kind of an interesting situation right now batman is out toward in the middle of the map dwiz is surrounded i don't think he knows he's surrounded if i check the vision um they do know that they're at north shrine i think he's starting to make a forward base for them at the high ground just to the west of North Shrine. Um, he's got a fire down. War Rabbit's down in the, the just just west of the middle of the map. Hotch is still back at base. Um, not sure what he's trying to do right now. If he's just trying to cook. Um, he's searching for frost bears or what. He has frost armor now. I guess they're thinking about taking on the witch. Um, only hey, six frost bears attack. are there right now, and Batman is making the first contact in terms of um, fighting the enemy. He's almost took out Dewiz's hunt and lodge. He had to use his adrenaline rush to get out of there. He was attack. low on warmth and, and walking. Um, Black Baron is trying to tame bears out here. It's only fi 15 minutes into the game, but Frost Bears are doing 32 damage a hit. Um, and everyone's cold right now. So, 
even though he's got a lantern on, the wolves aren't attacking him. He's dropping in health pretty quickly. Uh, and since it's snowing, even though it just turned day, um, he's still frozen. He's got to get back to that that fire. Fail Lord, I don't know what is going on, but he needs to eat before he dies right now. Right, that's <laughs> two people on North Team that could be sniped like right now, um, but there's no one with vision on them, so I have no idea if that's the case. Um, like if War Rabbit and Dwiz just scanned, or someone scanned for if Hotch scanned for them right now, they could easily just go up there and snipe Fail Lord and Black Baron. Um, Batman slash Zorex is doing his job of keeping everyone alive with Guardian Spirit. Um, Black Baron is now now has an axe, a tribal shield, and a huntsman. Fail Lord has huntsman gun and lantern. Um, Black Baron also has a gun on switch and a lantern on switch as well. Um, Batman only has an axe and a huntsman right now, although it looks like he's trying to make a gun. Um, he may also try to make um, a buckler here. I'm not sure what that other iron is going to be for. He's also starting to set up what looks like it may become a sirloin farm. Um, Hotch is still kind of lagging behind. I think he's prepping to make a bunch of berry pheasant and he has a ton of sage berries um, yeah he has he's gonna make three berry pheasant I think they're gonna start looking at attacking soon Duiz is getting uh, pet pets going and a second pet um, in terms of upgrades we have War Rabbit has almost all one two three four, five, six. Now he has all pet upgrades. Um, Hotch has um, the two cheapest pet upgrades. Dwiz has a second pet and is only missing two of his pet upgrades. Um, Black Baron and, and uh, Zorix have a second pet and Zorix also has one other pet upgrade, up two now. Zorix is almost maxed um, in terms of his upgrades. Um, Fail Lord still has none at this moment, and I'm not sure what he is trying to do. Um, he, oh, he's making a turret. I see. So they're they're trying to uh, really defend their position. I don't know if they know yet. We'll find out shortly. Um, if they're in the middle of the map, that they're all together in the middle of the map. Actually, they have they have a bird on War Rabbit at this point, and they see that he has two pets. Um, and winter is over, um, and the uh, witch was not spawned. So, so far, there are not any. Uh, high level quest items out on the map. The highest level gear I see is the Halberk on Dwiz. Um, he's got a spear, Halberk, and Javelin, which is decent for damage. Um, and his, his, uh, he's trying to get a, a wolf for the pet quest, but I don't know if he has enough foraging for taming day wolves. He's got none, so it's going to be hard to get himself a day wolf. We've got Black Baron making his turret. Um, look under the build menu for Batman. Um, he may have already made his turret, but I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to tell under their tent. I can zoom in. 
Yeah, they... Let's see, yeah, he's got a turret under there too. So we've got three turrets at North Shrine. Pale Lord needs to... Oh, he's got sirloins. That's pretty good. Oh, we have a first attack coming in. I heard a uh, turret. There's a second turret shot. Third turret shot. Black Baron just took out the turret that was placed at the bottom of the hill. It looks like they're trying to clear out the north. The southern tribe is trying to clear out the northern tribe's spot, just west. All of this, the up, oh, the uh, northern tribe is south of, in the southeast of North Shrine. Looks like they're thinking about attacking if. Uh, the northern tribe goes to attack the troll. The troll is now right next to the rest of that little base there. Um, Black Baron just killed Hotch's Wisp. Hotch is walking away. Not sure exactly why he's walking. Um, there is a turret to the right, to the east side of North Shrine. There is also um, a uh, spike there. I think they're going to try and bait them out. Um, not sure how well this is going to go. Dwiz has a... Wow, Dwiz got hit hard from two turrets. Here comes Black Baron. Black Baron's getting hit. Black Baron gets killed. Batman's coming in. Uh, I don't know how they did so much damage so quickly, but uh, Batman is stuck. There are a lot of pets going in there. Failord is about to be killed. The turrets are out of ammo. Batman is cloaked. I don't even understand how Black Baron got killed so quickly. He must have gotten hit by like every pet and every shot all at once. This one's gonna have to go back to the tapes. But uh, Batman is running out of there with adrenaline rush. Failord has called a GG. I don't know if Batman is going to try and get them back up or if we're just going to go to the next game. But uh, Failor is going to have to figure out how to not die, I think, in the next game if uh, whatever whatever the teams are are going to be much, much more even. Um, I didn't think that there was a whole lot going on. Let's see what their damages are. We've got Hotch, who's only doing 35 damage. Um, his willpower is not super high. I mean, it's you know pretty decent for a mage, and he's got that extra 10% from the leather coat. But uh, I'm pretty sure he just went in there with a lantern. Dwiz is up there, and he's doing 54 damage, which is pretty decent. See, War Rabbit has 53 damage, his wolf does 29, and his bear does 36. So, I mean, yeah, that is a pretty substantial amount of damage to tank. And uh, Black Baron really only had Huntsman and a Tribal Shield. So, while that does offer some armor, it's not huge. War Rabbit is down um, on his way to South Shrine. He might be trying to wall it off. Um, Batman is, has two wisps, and he's actually starting to head back north. Um, if we look at his skills, he's got uh, he's got no art, so he has 20 mining, 20 foraging, and 15 cooking. With some sirloins, you know, he still does have gear, but he has no ranged options. So he's basically got to get someone one-on-one -on -one and just mow them down as as fast as he can. Looks like he has one res almost ready. He needs a flower. Um, but, I mean, he has no shield. He has just the lantern. And he has those two wisps. And even though he's doing 52 damage, his wisps are only doing 15. Now, it is ranged, but wisps are pretty flimsy once you get a hold of them. Um, and on his upgrades, he's got. He's pretty much got everything right now. He's got. Um, he's got all spells, and he's got all pet upgrades but one. Um, and that one is, uh... 
inspirational master which I mean that adds damage and health to your to your stuff so um, that's why he's not doing uh, his wisps are pretty flimsy right now Wiz in the middle of the map. We got War Rabbit down by South Shrine. And we got Hotch up by North Shrine. So, if Batman slash Zorax can get a really good engagement off, technically they could still be in this game since the other team is all split up. Now, in a 1v3 situation, it's kind of the way you want it, um, but it does tend to let a comeback maybe happen. So if there's if they stick together and run around after him, it's almost guaranteed that if he's caught, he just dies. But when they do that it also gives him the opportunity to run around and maybe be able to get a res off since he has an axe. Um, now, I believe there is an axe on the northern side right now. Is there a spear? There is an axe. War Rabbit has the axe. Um, the darkness quest just started a couple of seconds ago. Um, Hotch is closest to it. Um, Dwiz is up by north spawn. And uh, War Rabbit is busy trying to wall off South Shrine. Um, I think Hodge is going to sit there until someone comes help. Um, this is the perfect opportunity for Batman to res, but he has no flowers. He's making his way into where War Rabbit is. War Rabbit is walling off the back, but his Palisades are getting attacked at the front. Now he can't see. Those are getting attacked, but he can see. He can't see specifically that they're getting attacked. But he can see that they're under attack from the minimap. Batman was able to kill the uh, Frost Bear from War Rabbit. Um, he's starting to get low on warmth. Um, War Rabbit does still have his wolf left, and his w Batman's wisps are gone. Dwiz is down with his wisp. Sh Batman is cloaked out. I keep going back between Zorax and Batman, but you know what? <sighs> Screw it. Um, Decloaks. He's ran out of mana. He's now about to get uh, attacked by a bear. Um, and run out of stamina, so he's got to walk soon and uh, hopefully get out of harm's way there. Throws down a fire. He has no food left. He has one sage berry. Hotch has, is on his way to join them at south. Dwiz is looking the wrong way. Um, War Rabbit is just making his palisades again at the front of South Shrine. Um, that's pretty much all walled off. North Shrine is not walled off at all, and no one is up there. Um, so if Batman can get a, uh, I mean, he has no read on this. Um, there's, there's nothing to say, hey, Hotch came down to help them. The last he knew, Hotch is probably still back at North Shrine or whatever. But he is cloaking out now. He has adrenaline rush. It looks like he might be trying to head up to North Shrine. Um, that being said, Dwiz and Hotch, well, at least Dwiz is heading up to the quest. Hotch is now starting to join him. They can get this darkness quest before it's all done. And if they do that, uh, it will make catching Batman that much easier. Dwiz, on the other hand, is getting 
torn apart by all of the guardians at the quest. Um, in fact, it's possible he could die if he's not careful. Uh, nope, they're gonna they're gonna get the quest with 12 seconds to go. Hodge takes the charm. He does have clairvoyance. He has all spells. Um, he actually has all the upgrades as well. So he's he's pretty much maxed with his budget mage build. He still has three sage berries and a ton of food. Um, Batman's gonna be have to be careful now that the darkness quest is over, even though he has an axe. Uh, that that uh, necromancer's necklace um, from the darkness quest will uh, reduce your movement speed by 25%. So even though he gets a boost from the axe of 5% from his movement speed, um, I mean the net of that and minus 25% is pretty great. So, Batman now does have two reses up, but the fact that the Darkness Quest went to um, north, the northern team, it looks pretty bad, because the, uh, the way that you, you might have escaped that in, uh, for, for the south team is to get something like the um, frost barrier or something and the, and the queen is gone the troll is gone all of the the you know kind of better items for getting increased running speed are gone so I mean, it's going to be all up to sage berries and shadow cloak um, shadow cloak gives you 20 percent faster move so the net of that and um, getting scanned with the necromancer's charm, you know, you're, you're slightly slower instead of a lot slower. Um, they still don't see this res going on just yet, but they will now. But as long as they don't attack, they might not completely notice it. However, if they're at all looking at their mini-map, I mean, even if they don't get the attack warning notice, um, they should see the red dot up there. So now they're heading out. Um, no scans have gone down, but they are heading up north. Uh, northern team, Dwiz is off to the left. War Rabbit's heading up the middle. Hotch is heading up the right. Um, Black Baron throws down a fire. He starts to mine gold. And, I mean, this is pretty much at a reset because there was no gear there. Um, they didn't want to attack. There's actually a, a blunderbuss in the Huntsman's Lodge, but uh, Batman is uh, very unfortunate and gets the King Quest. And now they have to defend. Um, and now <laughs> uh, Black Baron is, uh, he's half Stam. Fail Lord is on... It's cold, but almost on full stem. And, uh, I mean, at this point, they could just sacrifice the king. The blood cleaver isn't really going to make a huge amount of difference one way or another. Um, I mean, it's a nice weapon, but uh, in, in, in this case, they're, they're trying to just, um, you know, run away and and get some time to tech back up. But uh, Black Baron gets caught over at the um, turret and spike that was placed at the beginning of this whole attack. Um, drops a gem and some other stuff. Um, Black Baron has played really well in the past. Seems like might be having a little bit of a bad game. Um, Dwiz is chasing down the king. I think this is sort of a waste of time. Um, Batman is actually on the scene to get the blood cleaver. Well, War Rabbit is right there and he's got his wolf. Um, we'll see uh, what goes on. 
he <laughs> he manages to take the blood cleaver and the scroll um, but Hotch is starting his scan of doom fortunately for him war rabbit is out of stamina and cannot keep up the attack um, Dwiz is close by for some reason Failor decided to attack Hotch's Huntsman's Lodge, maybe he's just trying to distract them and split them up so that Batman could have a way to escape. I'm not sure what the rationale is there. Um, Dwiz is heading over to find Failor. Failor's trying to keep out of sight, but he still has no spells. Dwiz's fire intent should have seen him juke over, and he faints just out of aggro range of the bear. Um, it is now night and he has no stone and he is low on stamina and low on warmth. So unless he can get kill this bear really quick and get over to a stone and get a fire out, it's very possible he's going to die in just a moment here. Um, he's at 95 health and he's now cold and here comes a wolf. Yeah, and those wolves are doing 31 damage. He got killed in like 3 hits. He's cold. Um, Batman is the only one alive again. Uh, Hotch is up to 581 health. Um, I mean, he's, I think he has, yeah, he has level 3 forestry mastery up right now. Um, Dwiz has, um, 50 damage, 440 health. I mean... I, I gotta say, like, Hotch has one armor, he's almost 600 health, you know, War Rabbit has, well, he's, he's upgrading his armor right now, but he, he has low armor and, you know, kind of low health. Dwiz has, you know, he, he, he's, he's going for a strength build, but he has, you know, he has a little bit of armor. Um, at six, um, but he's going javelin and spear, so he's looking for the damage side of things. So none of them are really like invincible, but the way things are going, like Batman has no food, he does have the blood cleaver, which is nice, but uh, yeah, it's I don't know, it's just uh, very. This is very not looking good for Batman. Now, he's on a sprint back north. Um, he's passing up all of this stuff. Could have picked up that Huntsman's jacket for the next guy, but now we have the first, or the second rather, um, real uh, item in play here. We have the spike shield that War Rabbit has. Um, he's actually, he, he, he upgraded to the Bear Shaman Shroud. Um, it's probably pretty smart, uh, considering the way things are going, just to get some of that extra spell damage and stuff. Put the hurt on with Affliction. Batman is surviving, though, but, uh... Well, I don't want to call it an, a lesson in futility um, his team is definitely letting him down here I think to some degree um, he's mining sage berries again from a bush and I think he still needs to uh, get some flowers and some shadow stones here but northern team does not look like they're taking too much time to uh, go, just go hunt them down. They're playing just a slow power game. They're like, well, you know, everyone get your spells up. Everyone get your upgrades. You know, we're gonna outpace them. You know, it's just gonna be a matter of um, it's just gonna be a matter of tracking them down. So. I'm waiting for him to show himself.
got Dwiz out in the middle of the map, Hotch is on Hotch South Shrine, um, more rabbit is starting to hunt down some of the stuff, like uh, Batman's tent, Sorex's tent. Now he picks up the Huntsman's jacket. I don't know why he's going back to South Shrine. North Shrine is still all wide open. No one is up at North Shrine. Um, they're just kind of about. Oh, he's going after this elder? Because he's just trying to sell and get them. Maybe he's trying to make them gear. It's possible. You have the gladiator quest again. I'm positive Hotch is going to go in. Um, he has two pets now. Zorix has none. I don't know if he's just going to try and go in and see if that'll be a way to get back into the game. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, Hot just telling him to join in. <laughs> he spelled it with the UR. Uh, Batman slash Zorex slash whatever is uh, one of our our British friends here in the far the Cobalt Forest, um, and uh, yeah, I think Hodge did that just to uh, did the O U, -O -U R spelling of honor just to. Uh, get him to come in. But, uh... I don't think he wants to do that. I think he wants to try and get them rezzed and try and get them uh, on the right path, path again. Sold those infused to get shadow stones. He's just giving them the gold. Dwiz is actually up around near North Shrine right now. Um, he's picked up some spices maybe he's gonna start to cook something um, he does still have four beer pheasants so it's not like he really needs it uh, what is Batman doing he's got a tree going on over there let's get these grades out of the way they're not really changing very much yeah there's still a chance like <laughs> If they can pull it together, there's definitely still a chance. He's got a blood cleaver and a huntsman's jacket. Now, if Dwiz gets cocky, um, Dwiz gets cocky and tries to 2v1 Batman and whoever he's rezzing. If the res gets off, Batman does have a Huntsman's Jacket and Blood Cleaver just sitting there. So if he reses Black Baron, it is possible that they can overtake Dwiz. Now, Dwiz is doing 50 damage a hit. His bear is doing 41 damage a hit, and his wisp is doing 22. And he's got a spear build. So Spear plus Halberk is... Mm, it's a lot of damage output, especially with those pets. But... It's not impossible for them to do this. However, Batman is backing off from North Shrine. He does have his two reses again. War Rabbit is going up to help. Hotch is the only thing that... Zorix has to go through at South Shrine and the Palisades. So, and Hotch has those two pets. It's the wolf does 30 damage, the bear does 37. I mean, I don't know. It's it's not looking good. Thing is that the southern, the the northern team rather is playing very very smart, and now War Rabbit is finally walling off North Shrine, and that's pretty much going to seal the deal. Um, Batman has no food; he is dying of hunger. 
um, he has just scanned. Uh, Hotch has, yeah, Hotch just scanned him. So he's slowed quite a bit. Uh, he does, however, have all those sage berries. However, Dwiz is wow. Dwiz's javelin is just doing a lot of damage. I think this is going to be GG here in just a moment. Zorix has adrenaline rush on. He's trying to get out of it. Um, Hotch is eating those sage berries to get those scans off. Um, slow, slow Batman down with the necromancer charm. Got the sage berries. Oh, Hotch wants to kill himself. <laughs> um, he has no more sage berries, so he can't keep scanning. But Batman is now dying of hunger. And Batman calls the GG. He may quit out before he's killed just to save the stat. Um, and that's GG. Even the game. We'll reset here in just a moment. And it's not the party leader. I'm just gonna leave this. So it's a good game. Fail Lord lived up to his name. He's gonna need to uh, pick pick up the pace, I think. Um, so I am going to pull up a new lobby. Hey, Pox, you there? Yeah. So the first game is done. Uh, Dewiz has to go. I will invite you momentarily if you hop on. All right, hold on. I'm in a game of league, but it'll be over right. here soon. Channel switched. Hey guys, am I in the lobby? I can't tell. You are. Oh, well, Wait, no. No, nobody's in the lobby. Nobody's in no, the lobby? In the lobby. Uh, I can't believe. It might be bugged. I might have to, have to restart this. In a I know now that I need to stop strategizing and actually play. Otherwise, I shall freeze to death. Yeah. And yeah. then lose the entire game. For my team, because I'm a noob. Oh, just gotta get those hotkeys working again, and uh, just do things fast. It's all about getting getting your mechanics down. Who are we waiting for? We have three of six, four of six. After this, we could play Cruiser Command. That game is like really, really cool, but nobody plays it.
is Batman. Let's try that again. <laughs> Duke Rossi. So will, will you be posting this, or, uh, or was it just a live stream? Right now it's a live stream, but uh, I will uh, transfer it over to YouTube pretty soon after we're done. Great. So you can see all of the horrible, nasty things I was saying about you. Uh, I would say, I, I I would say terrible things about myself. Yeah, I try to keep things pretty PC. Absolutely terrible things. Yeah. Did, did you mention that I ran around uh, without using the axe for the movement? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... You could have reasons for doing that. You probably wanted to get free scan radius out of your your uh, your My spear. Stuff, yeah. So that yeah. I mean, running running faster doesn't necessarily help you find find them sooner. So, but I mean, you could you could always switch once you see him just to keep him in sight. But yeah. you know, if when if you don't know where he is, there's not necessarily a reason to keep it on. Yeah. I, it so also helps that I froze to death in the beginning of the game. Then I got killed by someone after gearing up Whoops. for like five minutes. Then I got eaten by wolves as I tried to mine a stone to put down a campfire to not freeze to death again. Yeah, you gotta. You, you're gonna have to watch the uh, the vods to see how I ca casted that part. That was pretty funny. Although I, I am a little deadpan in my voice. All right, let's All right. try to even this up a little bit here. Um, I think if we do that, I don't know. I don't know. Is how how good is Duke Rossi? I've never seen him play before. He used to be pretty good. Nobody. I mean, how, six months ago, he was pretty good. Yeah. What, what did he have a different name then, or is that his same name? Because I don't remember ever seeing him. No, I think it was the same. Hold on, guys. If you care about skill, I'll leave right now. That's all right. Hey, Pox, are you uh, you gonna come or no or what? It won't be over soon. How soon? Entirely. Sure. When I play in a team, I expect my teammates to beat to put down the campfire. And I don't realize I'm freezing to death until too late because I thought my teammates would put down the campfire, but they didn't. And then I die because I sit there for ten minutes crafting ten seconds crafting a rough blunderbuss as my health drops from three hundred and fifty to zip. I mean you yeah. should have just grabbed a torch, like you know, it's not hard to just grab a torch. There was no torch. campfire, so there was no torch. Well, there was a campfire. It was off to your left. Well, yeah, the very, the the very first time you died, there was a campfire. You could have gone and grabbed a torch. Was there seriously a campfire there? There was. It was off near the stone, near the uh, unpathable ground, a little bit to the west of your camp. If you can, you should probably insert an appropriate facepalm meme into the YouTube video. I'll see what and, I can do. And just put an arrow next to the campfire that I died next to of freezing. And put a facepalm there. I deserve it at this point. It's better to build double campfire than to die. It's better to be it's better to be the butt of a facepalm joke <laughs> than to not have anyone talk about me at all.
We have another 3v3 we're about to start, Pox, if uh, you're still in that game. I love if we can make this a 4 before, that would be cool. Still haven't heard back from Frank. He is in a game. So what happened to John? He didn't want to join, or? Mm, no, he just, he never joined. He had another thought about Frank. I, I asked him a little bit ago if he wanted to play, and he said no. Well, what about Bubbles? I tried to get him, but uh, I don't even see him on now. And the Bubbles that I saw was actually Chubby's, who renamed himself to Bubbles. I think he plays as Arbiter still. When he's oh, yeah. Alright, we're sure. going to start this. Here we go. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, my game's about to end. Like... Well, hopefully, this one won't be a 40 minute match. <laughs> 40 minutes running around. Spamming I might my watch, it's going to be a. Hotch never uh, got on TeamSpeak, but I'm moving the teams. Here we go. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved out of your channel. All right, so. Channel switched. User was moved to your channel. Yeah, sorry, Pox. We couldn't get another fourth in there, and everyone wanted to go. So. We'll get you in. One of these games is going to coincide. Oh, no one asked for pause. So User in your go. channel timed out. Uh, uh, and Fox is timed out. So here we go. We've got Duke Rossi, Black Baron, and Batman against War Rabbit, Fail Lord, and Hotch. Hotch has not joined TeamSpeak, so the mics to non mics are um pretty even except the southern team has no mics working right now whereas the northern team has two mics working and war rabbit is gonna have to do quite a bit i think to reel in epic fail lord your channel um so war rabbit is now on an Elder Fail Lord is mining stone right at the onset. I'm the stick um, rush, dang it. <laughs> Hotch is getting an infused. Batman is about to start. The oh, hey, the Legacy of the, of the Void announced. Hell yeah. Yeah, you haven't seen that? Dude, Dude you gotta check announced. out all you gotta check out all the Blizzard announcements. Go go check out all the new units. I mean it's sick. Like they're actually making an expansion out of this. Like Heart of the Swarm, it was a joke in, as an expansion compared to what they're actually going to do for this. At least for the beta. I mean, they're they're adding like four new units each or something, or uh, you know, at least making uh, you know major changes to some of the current units. So, like, it, it's just it's awesome. Lurkers, can we say hell at the time? User in your channel timed out. It looks like Black Baron might be on uh, Push to Talk or something. I don't know what keeps happening to Pox. It's timing out. Um, so this is a this is a pro tip for Fail Lord. For the next time he plays instead of selling all that stone I mean granted it's good that he has some of that stuff for higher level gear but if he had taken those three lumber that he had and three of the stone instead of selling those extra three stone had made three farms and started killing the, those sheep as they spawn um, he would be in a much better spot both in terms of leveling up as the game goes on and in terms of getting more wealth because um, killing sheep 
you know, if he's going mining again, um, you, you're going to start to kill sheep in one shot pretty soon. And if you get affliction and you have a bunch of sheep there, you can just kill them without even using any um, stamina. So you can both level up quickly, keep the food up, keep your... Um, you know, money up without having to use more stamina, um, level up faster. There's a lot of good reasons to just build a couple of farms at the beginning of the game, especially if you're just going to kind of waste the full value on um, of, of the, the materials you're selling in the outpost. Um, you know, you're better off waiting a, f a, a few seconds selling in a burst of like three stone and then selling later, because unless you're getting stick rushed or something right at the onset, um, you'll have time to get better value out of those mats that you're selling. Um, so yeah, if he had made those farms, they'd be in a much better situation right now, just all around. Um, so we've got, let me zoom out here. Got Batman creating probably a gun, uh, maybe a Huntsman's first, not sure what he had. Uh, Black Baron already has an axe and a tribal shield. Duke Rossi um, doesn't have anything just yet. Check the upgrades. Duke Rossi has only Nature's Grace. Batman has Shadow User Club. joined your channel. Bro, my internet keeps cutting out. Maybe I play a game. Yeah, I, I noticed you were timing out of team speak. Um, Black Baron has Siphon, War Rabbit has Cloak and Siphon, Hotch has Affliction and Failure, still has nothing. He does have his gun and he did survive night one. So that's something. He is now, looks like he's going to make Huntsman's. Um, Hotch is working on, I believe, his orb and now he's making his lantern. Uh, War Rabbit has gun and Huntsman. Uh, he just mined two gems and is probably going to make himself a, um, a lantern and a spear at some point here. Um, Batman still doesn't have a gun. He has the materials for it, minus the stone, which he just mined. Duke Rossi now has a breastplate. I'm not sure what he's making. He made a stick, so he may be going for a javelin type build um, let's see what we got going here Hotch is mining stuff out uh, Failor does have his huntsman he has a torch now um, let's see what War Rabbit decides to do with this stuff yeah he's making himself a lantern um, he's got a forward base set up there uh, Batman still has no armor Duke Rossi He's an offhand. Um, this is kind of hilarious. It's kind of like see no evil, hear no evil in terms of the um, what each has and doesn't have in terms of the South team's gear. Each one of them has like a different piece missing. First quest is the pet quest. No one has a pet. Fail Lord looks like he's trying to rush. However, this is night two, he is nearly out of stam, and it's actually probably good for him that he fainted before going down that hill, because if he had gone down that hill first, uh, he wouldn't be at 20 stam. Um, I mean, he's pretty much dead. He He's r walking into... He has... A spike and a wood. He has no backup. Well, he does have War Rabbit there, but everyone has better stuff than him right now. Um, War Rabbit may save him. He's trying to micro here. Hotch is coming down. Um, he has just enough stamina. Oh, this. Hotch has the, has the chance. Nope, he's dead. 
Batman killed him. Black Baron could be about to die though. He is about, he did die. Uh, Hotch is low on health. War Rabbit is still backing him up. The Stam is a little bit in of, oh, Duke Rizzi is about to die from a bear. And War Rabbit, War Rabbit has him on Stam. I don't know why Duke Rosie's coming back. He has an axe versus a gun. Duke Rosie goes down. Batman is Hotch on the ropes. Hotch has adrenaline rush, but he has... Uh, and he has food. Now Batman is... Um, I don't know how he's going to do this. He has health, but he doesn't have stamina. He does have mats for tent. Um, I'm not sure what he's planning on doing. Hotch is going to stam up on this tree, I believe. Uh, Batman snipes the tree. He doesn't have a whole lot of forestry. Here comes Hodge back. War Rabbit's almost there. He's got stam. Um, Batman has a little bit more. This is not going to be good. Hotch may just barely get away. Uh... Yeah, hey, when's Legacy good. of the Void come out? Uh, after they f decide it's okay to come out, I guess. I mean, they're they're just starting the closed beta soon, I think. They they haven't announced. I don't know that they announced a date. I didn't notice that on the site. I just know that they the the title is announced. It's probably going to be like. Part of the swarm where it's going to be a few months of beta and then they're going to you know make it come out because i i don't think it's going to be like the original starcraft 2 where you know the beta is forever uh, i just want to play the campaign oh yeah <laughs> i may buy uh heart of the swarm once legacy of the void comes out <laughs> If they don't bundle it. Um, so we've got Hotch and War Rabbit working on this, the res here. War Rabbit has all the extra gear. He has res mats except for the flower. Batman is once again trying to get um, a res up. Um, it would have been cool if he would have quickly been able to snipe this uh, truffle quest, but uh, he's not really focusing on that right now. Um, he's mining to, I think, build up his adrenaline rush. He just got a gem. That'll help for one of the uh, reses. Um, War Rabbit still needs a flower to res. He's going north. Hotch is just building up his uh, cash supply right now, mining out of gold. Um, let's see. Hotch does have Adrenaline Rush, even though he has this mage built going on. He actually want, has two more seconds of Adrenaline Rush than uh, Batman, so he's just walking down, hoping to, to run into him. Also, he's low on Stam. Um, Batman is high on Stam. But uh, let's see what he does here. I think he's going to try and mine for a Shadow Stone, or is he going to buy them? Oh, he bought, he bought them. He has a stone for... Um, fire, or he's just trying to sell the stone now, I guess. Pale Lord is back up, and he has half of his old gear, or all of his old gear. Um, Batman needs to find a flower bush. Hotch has quite a few mats in his bag. Uh, maybe trying to get uh, some more spells tonight. Once again, it is very early in the game after an engagement. I thought the, the game was going to end there, uh, but 
turns out, Batman is on the verge of getting a res up again. However, War Rabbit is walling off North Shrine, and the other two are on the move towards South Shrine. So, if these flowers don't come quickly for Batman, this game could very well be over pretty soon. It's getting. Dude, you should try out League of Legends. See, the thing is, I, I, I've played League of Legends type games that were recreated. I know what Dota is all about, and it just, I, I don't know. It, it's just not a format that I find very appealing. Like, it's, it's too much about, like, the farming aspect of it that, I don't know. Wow, he mined out a spice bush and got all spice. That pretty much sucks. And Fail Lord has died once again. I missed that, so not sure what that was all about. But there are four flowers sitting right behind Hotch. Batman is struggling to find another herb bush. And he is cold. Hodge healed the wounded wizard with his celestial orb. Unfortunately for him, the conjurer's charm doesn't really help him very much in tracking down and uh, killing Batman. Does Seth play anymore? Sassar, yeah. He's, he's actually been playing a lot more lately. Okay, Batman has his reses ready. And with Failor dead, he'll actually be in a one-man up advantage if he can get over there. Um... War Rabbit and Hotch are starting to head down now. They see the outpost. Um, let's see if he gets the bird off on them in time. Doesn't look up. Oh, just barely got the bird on them. First res is about to finish. Rosie is up. That man could have handed him some gear, but he just gets the other res up. Um, Rosie's heading back towards South Spawn. Uh, there is a ton of transfer going on from War Rabbit. His pack horses are going up to Hodge's little base there. Black Baron is back up. He received the gun and leather armor, and a scan goes off at South Shrine just as they are gone. Let's see if they saw them. Um, yeah, it looks like oh, it looks like a bird is on Batman right now. I don't know if he notices that, but uh, I'm probably gonna think that he's still trying to res them. So this could be a surprise if they try and run in there and find that the other two are alive. However. Rosie is about to die from a bear, and if he doesn't get, if he doesn't just get a fire down right now, he's dead. He's actually about to run into another bear and die. And there it goes. <laughs> that was pretty unfortunate, but uh, kind of hilarious. <laughs> And Batman just says, always my team. <laughs> Black Baron kills the bear that killed Rosie. Rosie caps. I didn't see the blanking bear. Bailard says, lol, me too. It was invisible. The bear followed me. They're just uh, a barrel of laughs right now. Black Baron is getting some sage berries. War Rabbit looks like he might be trying to res Fail Lord. 
is at least marking the territory at South Shrine and is now trying to wall it off. Um, <laughs> the arena quest comes up. I feel like this is going to be the most avoided quest tonight. <laughs> Black Baron is working on getting pelts. He now has five. Uh, you might as well just get a whole bunch of pet upgrades and try to wait for the next pet quest. Looks like War Rabbit is ready to go in at the arena. Um, Hotch gets a Hunter's Lodge up. Black Baron, what are you doing, man? You're running around. Are you trying to get Hunter's Lodge up? War Rabbit is probably going to go into the arena here to get the gold for his team. We'll find out in a moment. Nope. He is just setting up those palisades. So once again, the arena quest is avoided. Which means it'll probably pop up again pretty soon later. By the way, I'm only playing the game. You're on my team. <laughs> my stipulation. Alright, we'll see if we can get that to happen. It's gonna be hard for me to play in cast at the same time, though. You can do it. I believe in you. So now we've got Batman finally getting himself an axe. He now has... Looks like he's going to try and get Guardian Spirit. Um, he put, yep, he put his stick into the outpost. I don't know why he's not making a javelin out of that, to be honest. Um, he does have a guardian spirit now. Actually, he now has all spells, so... Um, the only thing that he is missing is pet upgrades. Hotch is pretty much maxed out right now. Um, War Rabbit, is he working on... He's working on some offhand, I believe. Um, oh, nope. He switched up his armor. Now he has a Shaman Shroud and a Heavy Iron Breastplate, so a nice little uh, interesting combo there. Black Banner, on the other hand, has made his way up near North Shrine. And the little cul-de-sac dead end. Uh... What's going on here? Does Daedalus ever play Cobalt Tribes anymore? No. He, uh, he pretty much uh, quit to do League slash uh, Melee um, after that whole thing with, uh, I guess, Battle Monk off the forums or Endor on the forums and. Um, my, my response to him on the forums. So. I think uh, he just decided he was done with the game. Wait, was this before or after Battlemonk called beat you? Yeah. Uh, this, the, I mean, my response to him was that, um, you know, I, I, I just basically agreed with... Uh, what Battle Monk was ultimately getting at was that the way he was, you know, manipulating things in terms of, 
you know, not wanting to be on certain people's teams and stuff, and just like holding a holding a hostage in house sometimes was, um, you know, it, it went a little far sometimes. I thought, and um, in terms of the suggestions he was talking about, you, I mean, I, I thought he was very one sided in the way he was trying to quote-unquote improve the game or make suggestions for the game and I was like look you know based on the track record it doesn't really look like you care about the balance you just want to make people fight at a given time and you know part of the part of the thing that's cool about the game is that there are ways to be ready to fight at a given time and there are ways to you know survive and play for a longer game and you know try and quest and all that stuff and you know just just playing toward one catering toward one strategy just because that's the strategy you're comfortable with and tailoring all your solutions to that to quote make things better you know it, it doesn't it doesn't really look like you're trying to make things better <laughs> and i don't think you like that answer and uh be between that and whatever was going on with monk I think he just was like, well, I'm not, I don't need to come back because people are playing League and I can get as many competitive games over there as I want. And uh, what, for whatever reason, he was he was playing a bunch of um, Melee and I don't know why he was doing it on North America server since I think Europe server is more native to him, but whatever. Yeah, he doesn't play league with us either, so yeah, I don't know what he does. I don't know. So Batman has now... I haven't now... seen him or Quan on forever. Uh, Quan Yin? Or who? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Siggy, uh, haven't seen him. Have you seen Siggy or no? No, I think Siggy pretty much only played on uh, the Europe servers, though. For our league? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I've, I've played, uh, what is it called? Um, Aeon of Storms or something like that is uh, a pretty, pretty decent um, Dota-like in the arcade I think it's better than um, hero attack um, probably by a lot a large margin actually um, but uh, yeah I can only I can only really play that for so long before it's just like uh, this farming <laughs> yeah farming's definitely a pretty big part of league dude just because that's a, where a lot of income comes from but yeah also, I don't know, there's just so much strategy involved. Because every everybody has different abilities and you have five people on each yeah. team. Well, the other thing, I guess, for me specifically, like, uh, you know, I, I've invested a lot of time and energy just, like, helping play test and balance this game and everything. And, um, I still want to see it succeed, so... Um, that's why I'm still putting time into trying to get things to uh, work out here. And that's why I'm streaming tonight. So um, Duke Rossi is about to be killed again. <laughs> this is so sad for Batman. There's two, two games in a row that uh, he's had a teammate that's been pretty weak. But on the flip side, Epic Fail Lord on the other team has been dead for a while. Black Baron is actually getting himself back up, so we do have a 2v2, but... Oh, now we have a 3v2, Duke Rosie just left, so... Oh, man. We'll have to get, uh... Hopefully we can start to get people back on here soon. It's, here's Here's my biggest, biggest problem, 
and the thing that I hope they address the most in Heart of the Swarm is tools to actually enable communication for uh, the arcade games and the communities that try and build themselves around it. Because I mean, there are there's a there's a huge website for you know uh, like Squad TD, Nexus Wars, some of these other games which are like super popular, but you know maybe slightly lower in uh, competitive quality or just whatever don't have that thing that you know um, can you know really brings it to the place where people really want to support it for uh, I don't know just more competitive play um, I don't know. It, I think I think if the the tools are there, if Blizzard paid more attention to the fact that groups you can't see the people in the groups. It's hard to make the in houses once you get past a certain level. Like there are all these things that uh, are really a detriment to you know building these communities and putting putting like real feelers out there for. Um, in terms of you know just saying hey tournament who's available can let's get a tournament going on um yeah i, I don't know i think a lot of games star strikers um everything would just be able to take off more not just cobalt tribes but unfortunately they don't seem to uh do too much about that. On the flip side, the way that they're doing their automated tournaments and the Legacy of the Void uh, announcement, I mean, I, I hope that's pretty legit for uh, not just StarCraft 2 itself, but for the arcade games as well. Yeah, one thing League does that I absolutely love and I wish StarCraft would do is like, if one of your friends spectate their hello, can you hear me? I, I you just dropped out. I so said one thing I love that League does that I wish StarCraft would do. Yeah, is if you have a friend like that's in a game and you log on, you can spectate their game even lobby originally oh yeah yeah there's a lot of that stuff that i think that they were just very short-sighted on and you know they tried to you know make up for some of that with like twitch partnership and stuff like that but you know it, it's it's suboptimal it, it it really is it's like I, I, it's a it's an okay workaround but w the foresight to build that in and or just fix it now like just do it <laughs> I don't know they, they're, there's so much potential that it's like I think it's a total face palm <laughs> it's like why you go halfway in you know trying to mimic steam and then you don't capitalize on your differences and then, yeah, I don't know. I think I think when they realized that they had an eSport on their hands, like from the, you know, from the Korean pro scene, it, it just made them start to think too greedy. And they're like, oh, we got to manage the maps. We got to manage this. We got to manage that. We got to protect our IP. We got to do this. And, you know, whatever people say about, like, the Blizzard-Activision relationship, uh, how much of it is Blizzard, how much of it is Activision, ultimately, you know, Blizzard made the decisions to go with Activision and all of that stuff and just, like, you know, not really stick to the roots. Um... 
I don't know, I just think it's sad. There's a lot of good stuff that they could have made a higher priority, but didn't. The Black Baron is still at large on the map. No one has even seen him. He's got a base right above Hotch's old base. Um, he's got a bunch of Berry Pheasant and Batman slash Zorex is just running them around the map. He's got Adrenaline Rush, he's got Shadow Cloak. He was making a second Sirloin, I believe. Um, Fail Lord has been alive for more than two minutes now. And uh, War Rabbit and Hotch are on the move to uh, trying to kill Batman and corner him. But now Black Baron is revealed because the king just spawned on him. <laughs> so this will start to get interesting now again. Um, Black Baron has... Um, has a lot of gear. He's got an axe. He's got a gun. Um, he's got five berry pheasants. He's got a lantern. He's got a uh, obedience rod. Batman killed Fail Lord. What did he drop? <laughs> I blinking quit. <laughs> Why the hell am I so blinking unlucky? Well, welcome to in house. It's all right. Got War Rabbit and Hotch coming over. They are going to kill the king. And quite possibly Black Baron. Uh, Batman is. I mean, they're permanently down in character because Duke Rosie already left. War Rabbit is killing the monarch. It's really a 2v2. But uh, it's kind of a 2v1. Black Baron is getting raped by Hotch, or, well, if he turns and fights, oh, kills Hotch, and now it is a 2v1, and War Rabbit is about to be cold, he does have the blood cleaver, uh, oh, wow, Black Baron, he has, oh, please, turn around, oh, turn around, you've got him, why are you running away, you have all that gear there, you have the hammer, you have Adrenaline Rush. You just gave half of that gear back to War Rabbit. Oh, and it was permanently, it's, it could have been, it is permanently a 2v3. So if War Rabbit winds up taking this gear back to Hodge, there's a Mystic Tribal Shield, there's a Lantern, there's the Charm, even pick up the charm. I don't even know why he grouped up together with Batman instead of. I mean, they can't res. There's no one to res. War Rabbit has full mage gear. He's got melee mage gear. He's got the charm if he chooses to pick it up. He's got. He's got a re equip for Hotch if he can get him up. Um. He's putting all that stuff in the outpost. He can easily just turn one of these bushes into a spice bush. I don't know why he's not using a scroll to get a spice bush. Um, he's not really thinking clearly in my way of... Uh, assessing the situation. Although he is... I mean, he is... On a, on a crash course for South Shrine, which he's going to have to break down one of his own palisades. Um, he, does, he does pick up some flowers. I think 
I think you just wanted to get free flowers. There were some on the ground. Um, but Batman and uh, Black Baron are headed down to South Shrine. And they have nothing to... Uh, well, this is going to be interesting. They've spotted him. They've scanned him. Uh, War Rabbit is heading back north. Batman has all sorts of stam. War Rabbit doesn't. Black Baron is, uh, I don't know what he's trying to craft here. I mean, he's got, I mean, he has more items than he can deal with. And the only thing they can do, um, is gear up an AI. I mean, they should really just hide some of that stuff right now. Uh, they scan north. It's not at north. They noticed it's completely walled off. Um, we'll see if they catch him before he can res, but both south and north shrine need to be broken into. Um, it looks like he's going to be able to get the res off south, but he does not have a gem yet. He does have an outpost down there, so he is going to be able to buy a gem. Um, he buys two gems. He's going to get two reses up, or at least one now, and then one later. He only has one shadow stone. Um, then he realized he could salvage his palisade instead of killing it. So... Um, he's got a blood cleaver, a spell book, a magnificent chef's hat, a tribal shield for Hotch, who is being res right now. Um, and he was just, they were just scanned. Uh, Hotch has no energy. Um, they need a shadow stone to get Fail Lord back up, but the only thing he has for Fail Lord right now is a vengeful, uh, Murloc skull. Um, he could sell that wood and leather and get the shadow stone right now he decides to mine um, looks like they might just decide to go up to North Shrine and Sirloin Farm I'm not sure why perhaps they're going to res an AI and Batman is going to try to utilize his micro to micro the AI with him and, and keep a uh, 3v, 3v3 game going. He is resurrecting an AI. Black Baron is trying to kill off where all the gear is from War Rabbit. Um, War Rabbit did not manage to get everything out of the outpost. But he got most of the important stuff out of the outpost. Um, and now Duke Rossi is fighting back in spirit. And he's got an axe. He's got... Basically, he was just dumped all of the extra gear from uh, Batman. So he's basically a living outpost right now. Depending on if you want to qualify, an AI is living. Fail Lord once again is in a state of being undergeared 40 minutes into the game. Um, there is some gear sitting around a blunderbuss. Um, you should, should probably be given that. Um, skull. Oh no, that's just the switch for uh, War Rabbit. Never mind. So he's got a lantern and a skull, and they need to get Fail Lord geared up because, as it stands right now, uh, the AI is better geared than he is. And even 